The winter storm warnings went into effect or were issued by the National Weather Service uh, earlier on this afternoon. They go into effect at 3 a.m. tonight, lasted till noon Saturday, so keep that in mind. This is a long duration event. We're looking at almost 36 hours of impacts, not just from the snow, but also strong winds. We could see 40, 50 mile an hour gusts that may cause near blizzard conditions as we head into tomorrow night. That storm system still over the uh, Great Plains as of right now, though, as you can see, Iowa getting uh, some lighter snowfall to heavier snow at times. We'll continue to track that uh, across uh, Iowa tonight. Not likely to get to us until about three in the morning and uh, noticing even some thunderstorm activity near St. Louis. So that's just how powerful this storm system is, and it's just getting going for our area. We'll see steady snowfall by about three in the morning, and then it could get heavy at times. You can see those darker bands on future track. We're talking about an inch an hour possible all the way through sunrise. So when you wake up in the morning, there may already be two to three inches of slushy snow on the ground on the roads. So be ready for a slower morning commute. Snow may get a little lighter from there through the rest of the morning. And as you can see here near the I-88 corridor, there may even be a little rain trying to mix in. So we get a bit of a break in the action or a lull in the activity. But later on in the afternoon, you can already start to see some of these heavier bands set back up again. So throughout the afternoon, conditions worsen in a hurry as we do see about an inch an hour again for a brief burst going throughout the late afternoon to evening hours. From there, the snow gets lighter. As you can see, it tapers down to about flurries by midnight and then we dry out from there. But the impacts keep going after that. So uh, it's not just the snow total, but here's our forecast. Seven plus inches possible north of I-88, about five to seven inches south of I-88, factoring in again that rain snow mix that could be coming in briefly into the afternoon. On top of all this, though, we could see wind gusts over 40, 50 miles per hour. So uh, the snow impacts will continue well throughout the evening. As you can see, heavier snow possible before sunrise, and then it gets heavier again into tomorrow evening. And then lighter snowfall over a longer duration. That's where we got that 7 to 11 inch range for you when it comes to the snow forecast. Impacts wise, though, slushy roads in the morning. A bit lighter, closer towards noon, but then it turns heavy again with slushy roads through the evening commute. Then beyond the evening commute, this is when we get into those near blizzard conditions because blowing and drifting snow may occur. We've got fluffier snow by that point, so that's able to blow around a lot easier with 40 to 50 mile per hour wind gusts. So really, Friday evening into Friday night, that's when the worst of the conditions will be for our backyard. Then blowing snow continues a little bit into Saturday as temperatures crash down. We'll have sub-zero wind chills by Saturday afternoon. And then we're just barely above zero, if not right at zero. Throughout much of the end of the weekend and into early next week, some of the coldest air we've seen in a while, we only warm back up into the teens in your most accurate 10-day forecast. We do stay there for a while, so much of next week is stuck under that Arctic chill. We've got a chilly middle of January to get through before we get any kind of warmth back. Today, just a couple degrees off. That means that cash total keeps climbing almost to 250 as we try to round it out for the rest of the week.